Welcome back, book buddies. Today we are going to read the first book of this Mr. Men, Little Miss Advent calendar. Let's go. Let's open day one. Little Miss Giggles and the New Job. Day one. Little Miss Giggles and the New Job. Can you guess what Little Miss Giggles does every morning when she wakes up? Yes, that's right. She giggles. And it's the same story all day, every day. The tiniest things make her giggle and giggle. Some people love Miss Giggles giggling. But some don't. Little Miss Greedy, for instance. I'm sure you can imagine what Little Miss Giggles did when she saw Little Miss Greedy eating an enormous cake. She giggled, of course. Little Miss Greedy thought that Little Miss Giggles was giggling at her. But in fact, Little Miss Giggles was just giggling about her new job. On that particular day, Little Miss Giggles was even happier than usual because she was starting a new job as a waitress in a very smart restaurant at the golf course. Don't forget, said the manager in a very important voice. This is an indemnity, extraordinarily impressive fancy restaurant. The service must be impeccably perfect. And what did little Miss Giggles do when she heard these words? She giggled, of course. Her first customer was Mr. Grumble. Ah, oh, at last, grumbled Mr. Grumble, when little Miss Giggles came to take his order. And of course, as usual, she couldn't keep a straight face. It was the same when she brought him his food. She just couldn't stop giggling. Mr. Grumble was not at all pleased. And what do you find so funny, he asked crossly. Are you giggling at me? I must speak to the manager right away. I'm here at your service, Mr. Grumble, said the manager, impeccably polite. Your waitress is giggling at me, grumbled Mr. Grumble. In fact, she won't stop giggling. Please accept our most serious and sincere apologies, replied the manager. I can surely assure you that it won't happen again. Hee hee hee, giggled Miss Giggles. Little Miss Giggles, said the manager importantly. Mr. Grumble is one of our most difficult customers, therefore please do not giggle in front of him. But I'm not giggling at him, explained Miss Giggles. I'm just giggling because I'm so happy and so much a big giggler. Let me give you a different job, said the manager. Please take these drinks out to the golfers and do try to be seriously serious and sensible. Little Miss Giggles promised to do her best. Do you think she will be able to be seriously serious and sensible? Mr. Snooty had just hit a very good ball. That is to say, he had hit a normal golf ball very well. The ball was just right next to the hole. Ah, good shot, Mr. Snooty, said Mr. Happy. Not bad, I agree, said Mr. Snooty, but I know I can do better. On my next shot, the ball will go straight in the hole. But his next shot did not go well. He missed. And at that moment, little Miss Giggles arrived with the drinks, happily giggling to herself. I must speak to the manager at once, cried Mr. Snooty. And no sooner had he had spoken than the manager arrived. This young person has made me look ridiculous in front of my friend, said Mr. Snooty rudely. In fact, it was entirely her fault that I had lost the game. Please accept our most si serious and sincere apologies, said the manager once again. I can surely assure you that it won't happen again. And that was why Little Miss Giggles was sent to work in the golf club shop. And in the shop, Little Miss Splendid and Little Miss Bossy were trying on some truly ridiculous hats. I don't need to tell you what Little Miss Giggles did next. 
We must find the manager at once, shouted little Miss Bossy, Bossedly, dragging little Miss Splendid away with her. I'm tremendously terribly sorry, explained the manager, but I'm deadly unable to let you work here any longer. But even with the bad news, little Miss Giggles couldn't stop giggling. Do you think she'll be able to find another job? On her way home, little Miss Giggles walked past the nursery. She could hear the babies that weren't giggling. They were crying, sobbing and bawling. What a terrible noise. The poor lady who was in charge of all the crying babies wasn't giggling either. She was wondering how she could cheer them all up. Little Miss Giggles walked into the nursery, giggled at the babies and, as if by magic, they stopped crying. In fact, they started to smile and laugh and giggle back at Little Miss Giggles. This time, Little Miss Giggles had found the perfect job. And ever since, Little Miss Giggles is happier than ever. When she wakes up in the morning, at least she has found a job where the giggliest giggles aren't always her own. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.